Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create POM decals, parallax occlusion mapping decals, to quickly add incredible details that are non-destructive and easily moved around. You'll see how my helmet model is very bare and simple without them. Part of me doesn't want to show the model without them, but here goes. So if I turn them off, so that's the model without any parallax occlusion mapping decals on it. And as you can see, it's very bare, very plain. But once I turn them back on, it just brings it to life. It puts all this detail that would take literally weeks to model in. Okay, so I've enjoyed using this kind of tech in the Unreal Engine, and I've always wanted something like this in a 3D program. Blender with its EV renderer brings the power of game engine tech into a modeler. And to make things even better, Cycles is able to render EV shaders, meaning that once you've finished building your stuff, you can simply just go, let me just demonstrate. And now this is Cycles rendering the same helmet. And because it's a ray tracer, you get a much nicer finish. And you'll notice the visor, you can see the objects behind the glass. So, before I show you this insanely easy process of applying POM decals, I have to praise Mesh Machine for making an add-on that makes the process fun and simple. I use Decal Machine to add decals and seam lines to the helmet. And the process, as I said, is so simple and the add-on is so solid that adding and making decals is fun. The only issue I have with Decal Machine is it has its own unique way of operating as you will see soon. Um, I personally prefer add-ons that stick with common conventions. Anyway, so let's go. Okay, so to demonstrate how Decal Machine works, um, I will open up something a little simpler, like just a box will do. Okay, so let's add a material to this cube. Let's go into EV. So what I'll do is I will add a bevel to this object just so I've got some rounded edges to play with because I'll add some of the decals to those edges. All right, so let's just start. So the way decal machine works, wherever you hover your mouse is where it's going to apply the decal. Once you choose a location that you want to apply the decal, you simply press the D key, which I assume means D for decal, and this pie menu will appear. To apply a decal, uh, the bottom left hand corner is a library of decals so I'm just going to go through and pick something that grabs my interest I might grab this little latch and there we go we have a decal applied to this object it's as easy as that um, I can now move this around as you can see it sticks to the surface of the main object okay so now if I go to a beveled edge, you'll notice how the, uh, the decal is sitting off the edge, which is no good for when you view it from this angle here. But if you're looking at it straight on, that decal is already convincing as though it's buried into the surface of the object. So to wrap that, to project that onto the surface, all you have to do is simply select the decal, press D once again, and then just go up to where it says project and that will now project that decal onto the surface of the base mesh. And it's really cool because what it does, it uses the same geo of the base mesh to cut the deformation of the decal. You can also adjust your decal at any time. So if you press D and go into the adjust button here. Okay, now this is the only gripe I have towards the add-on and it's the interface. It's definitely innovative but I often find it a little fiddly and hard to read. I think the idea is that once you become proficient with the add-on, that this becomes almost invisible. The adjust tool is very fast and allows you to adjust things like AO, parallax depth, decal distance to surface, etc., etc. So for power users, this is amazing. Just be aware that the tool engages instantly, meaning as soon as you select it, and move the mouse, it'll start adjusting the decal distance to mesh based on normal direction. 
Okay, so now before I finish the video, what I'd like to do in the last part is show you how to actually make a decal using decal machine. It is a super simple process. So I'll start by creating a plane. So basically whatever I do inside of this plane will be, will be converted into a decal. So I'm going to go into edit mode. Control R, let's add, add two edge loops there. Control R again. Roll the scroll wheel and add two more there. Okay, let's just pull these edge loops right out to the edges there. Um, grab the vertices and size them up and bring them closer to the outside, outer edge. Okay, so this inner part here, which I'm going to extrude down, will be the housing for the grill. And I'm going to use box cutter to create a bunch of uh, pipes for or Basically, just creating a grill here. Okay, pressing V, scroll wheel, let's bring that in. Let's create a few more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so box cutter is another program that I use uh, that I find very, very handy for uh, things like this. Okay, let's go into face mode. I'm going to grab that bottom face and I'm going to squeeze that in a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put a bevel on that, just bevel the edge a little bit. Actually, let's change the material so you can see what I've just done. Great, okay. Now all I need to do now, so, so incredibly easy, just select the two objects, go up to the mach ma uh, machine um, end panel, and go into, okay, so you get a bunch of uh, options up here, as you can see where my mouse is. Uh, the first one is for creating decals, so to do that, all you need to do is make sure that decal is selected, simple subset, and just click this button here, create subset decal. Give that a few minutes. And there we go. We have a decal. What I'll do is I will create, just so that I can show you that I'm not lying. Here's a Sophia. Size that up, grab this guy, G, pressing control, I can make sure that that sticks to the object. I'm going to put, place a material on that. Actually, what you'll notice right too, and that already looks convincing, but if you go to the side, you'll notice that this guy is hovering above the surface. But even when you turn that off, it, you almost get away with that. What I'll do is I'll change this material so that you can see another thing that our decal machine does, and that is, let's, instead of having metal, let's make that a, a plastic, whatever, make it, let's make it kind of shiny, super shiny. Now if I select that guy, and press D, and project, D A, pull that out a little bit, you'll notice how decal machine has change the material of the outer part of this decal to match that of the base object. And there you have, I just created in literally like 30 seconds the most awesome looking detail. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Thank you. Okay, bye.